Hello. Um, I'm recording this video in nature, so uh, you may hear things going on around, airplanes, people, animals, things like that. And in this video, we're going to start looking at how things fit together holographically within our anatomy and the, the earth. And just to look at the word holographic, when you make a hologram, the light goes through a glass plate. And as it comes through the plate, different lights come together and they produce a three-dimensional image. So say the image is of a lady. If you break the plate in two and shine the light through it again, you don't get half a lady, you still get a whole lady. And however small you break that plate up to, the end image is still a whole image of the same lady. And that's the same within our body. There are matrixes and whether you take the whole body a set of organs, an organ, a bone, a cell that whole image still fits to that cell, to that set of organs, to the whole body. So we're going to look at one way of looking at that and how that is all reflected in the earth and this is um, a seminar we do as well and um, one of the ways we can bring the body into a matrix is to look at it as the hara, the heart, the intellect and the connection to the higher energies. So the hara or the, the lower energies within the body as an overall body. This is much more held around the pelvis, in the pelvis, in the hara which is just slightly above the pelvis and the lower body, the legs, dropping down to the earth. It's a grounded, deeper, stronger type of energy. So that is one level. And then when we come up to the chest, the middle body, this is more to do with the heart, feelings, emotions, and it has the qualities of the heart and lungs and chest there. It has a certain level of energy to it. And then as we come up to the face, the head, this is much more to do with the higher energies and it's more to do with the intellect and thought processes. It's a different body. It has a different quality to the lower body or the middle body. And the higher body has a connection up through the higher energies. And as you go up, as you move up or transcend or ascend up into the higher energies, then uh, all of those three lower energies, the heart of the heart, the intellect, they come together and start working as one and that also opens up a door so you more come in contact with this uh, energy of another if you would like, it's still your own higher self but it's moving out through the top of the head, it's more to do with transcendence. So you have that picture through the whole body. But also it's there in the face. When we're doing holographic breathing, it starts, the whole face starts breathing and the mouth and jaw. This is much more to do with the lower energies, the hara, the pelvis, the lower energies, the connection to the earth. So energy is going right through from the earth 
up through to the high energies in the mouth and jaw. Much more to do with these more physical grounded energies. And then as you move up into the sinuses and nasal passageways, the cheekbones, this whole area here, this is more to do with the middle body. And is a reflection of the heart and lungs. I'll put a picture on it just so you can see um, the, the, how it reflects the heart and lungs. It's through the middle body. And then as we come up into the eyes and the ethmoid bone between the eyes, this is much more to do with the higher energies, the intellect, the brain, and the connection upwards to the high energies and when the whole face is breathing together it opens up the doorway to connect to the high energies and also connected to the earth so it happens through the whole body it happens through the face all the parts of the brain also do a similar thing we're not going to go into it in that much more detail because I want to talk more about the seminar and the journey we go on in the seminar and the bones of the cranium reflect the bones through the body and reflect the bones of the face. The bones of the cranium and the bones of the face reflect each other. The different bones have different area energies that relate directly to each other. So it's reflected over and over through the body. So a higher cell, higher up the body, it, it is to do with a higher energy, but also within that cell, there's a cell body to do with the more lower energies. It has a, every cell has little bone structure, little filaments that lie like bone structure. This and the, the cell walls and the cell structure is more physical, more to do with the lower energies. Then there's a fluid body in the cell to do with the heart and the lungs and the middle energies and then there's a nucleus in the cell which is to do with the higher energies so it's reflected in every cell it's also reflected in the earth or how I experience the earth when I've gone on journeys through the earth it's how I experience the earth the outer layer the earth's crust the hard bit is to do with the lower energies, it's the higher, the lower, more grounded energies. And then as we drop deeper into the earth, as we drop into the magma, much more to do with the heart, the lungs, and the middle body, it has a more refined energy. And then as we come to the center core, of the earth. This is more to do with the higher energies, the intellect, the brain, the nucleus, if you wish. And then we can track deeper and deeper into the center of the earth till we come to the very center of the earth. And there's a way of coming into the center of the earth and you kind of like going through the eye of a needle and then at a certain point this opens up and the earth breaks away and you end up what feels like the centre of the universe. It, the, you transcend that realm and you, the physical it feels like you're in deep space or the centre of the universe. But you're still connected to the earth, you're still part of the earth. It's like a yin-yang symbol. That Earth is very female, but at the very centre of the Earth is a connection to the centre of the universe. It's a yin-yang. And also it connects to the centre of all of the planets, to the centre of the Sun. There's a connection there. But you, you come out of that mode and as you move out through that, you become more in contact with the transcendental, the beyond on a more energetic level, but you can feel within you, you're still in your body 
and but you can feel the heart of the heart, the intellect, they all suddenly come in alignment, energetically working in line, and then this opens this door, and then there's this other arena. So, in this journey, uh, we're going on a rebirth, or in the seminar, we're going on a rebirth, and we'd, it, it kind of happened by accident. It's not like I worked out this journey, I just enjoyed dropping into the earth. And this one particular time, it seemed to be strongly relating to the sexual organs. And, the, and they also fit together in this, the different organs all come together and relate to this particular matrix. They relate to lots of different matrices, but they also relate to this one where there's, uh, for instance, in the, in the sexual organs, the penis and vagina. This is the lower energies. It's got physicality. It's to do with movement. It's got strength. It's grounding. It's one of the ways our body grounds. So this is the lower energies. Then as we move into the prostate, and the uterus, these mirror each other. This is more to do with the heart, the energy is warmer, orange, very loving quality to it. To do with the middle body, relates to the middle body of the earth, the penis vagina relates to the earth's crust, it's more physical. And then as we drop down further through the sexual organs, we come to the ovaries and testes. These are like the higher energies for the sexual organs. They look a bit like brains. They've got that quality to them. They're the higher energies for the sexual organs and do relate to the brain and do relate to the eyes, which are the brain for the face. And these relate to the central core of the earth. So anyway, one well, and in this seminar, we, we travel through the earth using the holographic breathing as our means of transport. Somehow in holographic breathing, this allows us to stay in our body and to travel energetically through the earth. It's like a little, our, our little spaceship or earth ship. And relating it to the sexual organs as we're traveling through the earth's crust. This will cleanse the penis vagina. In the earth, the earth is female, so the earth's crust is more to do with the vagina, but it encompasses both energies. And then as we travel deeper into the um, middle layer of the earth, the magma, the molten rock and steel or iron, the metals of the central layer. This starts clearing more through the middle body, our heart and lungs, and within the sexual organs starts healing and working through the uterus and prostate. And then as we drop deeper into the central core of the earth, this is healing the higher energies, the head, the brain, the eyes, this whole area has got a higher quality to it within the sexual organs. So healing the ovaries and testes. As we relate to the earth, there is that healing there. And deeper and deeper until we start coming towards the center of the earth. You can feel moving to a deeply meditative place as you come closer and closer to the center of the earth and everything plados off as gravity is balancing out in all directions everything softens everything becomes very quiet still there's a stillness at the center of the earth and uh, I was surprised when I traveled there, as you come to the very center, at least for me, there was a sphere there. And there was an attraction to this sphere. And, and so anyway, in the, in the seminar, there's this sphere, 
at the center of the earth and we come to that sphere and moving around it and there's a certain attractive otherworldly quality to that sphere and then as we come up to that sphere and we move into that sphere the earth breaks away disappears we're still in our body we're still connected to the earth but it breaks away and it's a bit like we drop into the void energetically we move into creation or the void and in space material things it's a bit like the center of the universe or deep space and there's this quality of nothingness there's this quality of a deep deep healing as we can let go in this place we can let go of all the baggage everything we've pulled to ourselves to try and look after ourselves and all the different things that happen in this space we're very close to being home and we can let go of all of these things this is the place everything goes back to and everything is created out of So there's a deep healing in this place and the more horror, the more physical, the heart, intellect. You can feel in your body they're all working together and it opens up into this deep void, this place of creation. And anyway, as we stay there for a while, there's a feeling if we start moving out from the centre of the universe or the centre of wherever it was, and you can have the experience of being a, a fetus or a small embryo with a sac of fluid around you and you're the baby and you've got an umbilical cord and you're in space and there's all these stars shining on you and you're being fed this universal child born of the universe being created you've gone into the void into creation you're coming back out of creation you as this baby and you're being formed in the universe with this sack around you the fluid and the starlight shining through the fluid and you're being fed by the energies of the universe and you're being held by the energies of the universe And this carries on for a while and at a certain point you can feel the attractiveness to the earth getting stronger and this impulse to come back to the earth. And as we arrive back in the earth, we arrive not in the central core, we arrive in the magma, the uterus of the earth as this baby. In this fluid sac with the umbilical cord and in a way this is correct because it or supposedly in a lot of different um, uh, meditational areas they say the spirit doesn't fully come into the baby until it is slightly developed so it is a bit like that with kind of being being created in the universe and when we arrive in the body it's a bit like the the, the embryo is, is already developed a bit and there may be a connection back and forth until that time but at a certain stage the embryo is developed enough to hold the being or the spirit or soul or whatever you want to call that so we arrive back in the earth, in the uterus, the womb of the earth, as this baby, the umbilical cord and the warmth, it's like blood, it's like the heart, the uterus relates to the heart. And we spend time there gradually moving out towards more towards the surface and forming, we go through the whole forming process a baby in the womb but it's the earth we're in the womb of the earth mother earth and we're still connected to the father the universe 
and stars. We are still that, and we are in the earth, slowly growing all the different parts of our body are evolving. And again, all the time we're doing this, we're in contact with the holographic breathing, which is, from what I can see, how babies do breathe in the womb. It has the same thing, the same qualities to it. And it is our spaceship on this journey. So anyway, we evolve in the womb and we grow and we rise and we rise or we move out through the earth until the point where we're full, we've grown, we've got quite compressed and then at that stage we're coming to the earth's crust, the Mohara, and in this case for the earth, the vagina, how we're seeing it, this would be the vagina for the earth. And we're moving up into that, it's much more physical, it's darker. And the sat can't with it, come with us, that bursts and we move out into the darker, deeper, lower energies of the earth, more physical. It has a solidness to it, it has a physicality to it. And as we move up through this, it's like we are being brought in contact with our physicality that is pressing on us. The earth is pressing on us, forming us, and we're lengthening, lengthening and stretching out as we get and breathe our way up through this darker layer of the earth. And the earth is the mother, it's the vagina. In this case, it's the vagina. We're still in contact with the uterus, the heart, the intellect in the middle, the nucleus. We're still in contact. With the Father, the universe, the stars. As we rise, as we're being born out of the earth. And anyway, this goes on and we receive that impetus from the earth. We receive that fight. We receive that stimulation. We receive that physicality. We receive the physical breath of the earth, of the strength, of the bones of the earth, our vitality, our immune system, our fight. And breathe our way up through this till we finally come back out to where we started in the room. We're born out of the earth and we're in our body. We're in the aura of the earth, the air. And it's the breath of the air. And we can feel our own aura and we can feel our whole body and our connection to the earth and how we're mirrored in the earth and how we're mirrored in the universe and how every cell is mirrored in every other part of the body and our extension to the higher self, to creation, our connection to the earth and how all the different parts of us relate and communicate to us and how we communicate with the earth and how we communicate with the universe and the higher self. And the breath, the holographic breathing, brings us in contact with this type of breath, with this type of energy. And then we just be there and we just breathe. The holographic breathing. And at a certain stage we bring that to an end. So this is the seminar. I take people on this journey in the seminar. There's more to it than I've, I've gone through and I teach people how to go on the journey, how to go through the different parts, how to connect to the universe, etc. And this comes in two parts. We do it one as this rebirth, where we get rebirth, born of the earth and universe, and we do another one where we just cleanse the sexual organs. And I will probably do more where we can just cleanse all the different parts of the body, the different matrix of the body, how the organs, how the body fits together in this particular dynamic. 
we also do it in other dynamics with the face there's more sections to it in the cranium there's different levels we can work with this but in this seminar we're doing that rebirth and that also the other part of the seminar we just cleanse the sexual organs and we reconnect to the earth because we are of the earth we reflect the earth we are born of the earth the earth is us we are the earth and our connection to the higher self and I think this is important at this time that we realize our connection and love to the earth and our connection to the higher self okay so that's those two seminars they are available as downloads I would did this one uh, maybe not just yet the, the one for the sexual organs is this one will be soon okay thank you